Hi, I'm Jeff Matt, owner of Victory Auto Service and Glass in Minnesota. We have four locations in the Twin Cities area. I'm an ASE certified master technician and I'm going to show you how easy it is to check your air filter today. First thing you want to do is find your hood release latch, which is inside your vehicle, generally down by the driver's foot. It's a release lever. You pull it and it'll pop your hood up. You come around the front of the vehicle and you're going to look for a secondary hood latch. On this vehicle, it's, it's yellow. You need to identify it and just lift it up. When you lift it up, the hood will come up all the way. Every vehicle's got a hood latch, or a hood prop rod, actually. This one is tucked away like this. You're going to look around the sides or the front of the vehicle to identify this hood latch. This one's nice. It's marked yellow, and it's got a yellow spot where it goes in on the hood. So put that in place so the hood is secure. One of the most important components of your automobile as far as fuel mileage is your air filter. The air filter gets plugged. Your gas mileage goes down. It's real simple. So on this vehicle, it's located right here. Uh, it's always in a plastic uh, plenum inside the engine compartment. And this one is just held in by two clips. They're really easy to release with your fingers. You just move the lever over and it frees it up. And then we lift up this cover. And right underneath your hiding is your air filter. If you look at this air filter, it is actually probably ready for replacement. You see there's a lot of dirt in there. It's a paper element. Of course, the air goes through it one direction and it collects all the dirt and keeps it from going in your engine. So if you were to replace this, you'd need to get this part from a local parts supplier or repair shop. You're probably not going to find it at a gas station, but uh, you want to make sure you get the right air filter that goes in this vehicle. Of course, at those particular places, they'll be able to help you find the right filter for your vehicle. So. In this case, we do need an air filter. I'm going to tuck this back away, and the next time I'm out, I'm going to pick up an air filter and get this replaced. So, of course, you'd replace it the same way that you've taken it out. Slide it back into its compartment. Make sure it's all the way down flat. Get my plastic cover right into place. You usually can tell because it feels like it falls right into place smooth. It's not loose or wobbly. Re-engage the clips. And that's how easy it is to replace your air filter 